pretty good. You know, I think we're, we've been pretty steady Eddie in games. Uh, we've been in some emotional moments. We've been in some tightly contested games. I, I ask them and we talk about it every week is to just stay steady, stay right in the middle. Don't get too high, don't get too low. Uh, react to adversity and react to the good all in the same. And it's a, it's a business-like approach to a football game. And I think if you're a football team that comes out one week and you're higher than a kite, and then all of a sudden in the second quarter you're not, or something good happens, you're higher than a kite, and something bad happens, you go into the tank. So I ask them to be uh, nice and steady regardless of what happens, regardless of the situation. And uh, they've done that well on game day, and I think they've also done that well in practice. When we go out today, it's a, this is a learning day. It's a mental day. Tomorrow's a grinder. It's a tough day. It's not a day to be hopping around and really have much of a smile on your face because it's a hard work day. As they go through the week, they've handled it, and they've handled game day well. So also, I think we've handled adjustments on game day well. Big time adjustments from what we've seen on tape, especially on the defensive side of the football, uh, excuse me, on the offensive side of the football. The defenses that are coming in and we're playing against uh, have not drastically changed, but they have definitely changed schemes, which has forced us to uh, kind of shake things up on the run. The kids have taken the coaching, the coaches have done a nice job of you know, implementing the new schemes. So that, that shows the team is prepared. Gary, what have you thought of Wozniak? And then after Pedersen, the next three tight ends, who do you think provides the most threat in the passing game? Uh, Seiko, um, you know, I think he's if he's going to have to come in and play now. I think Woz is Woz has been good. You know, Woz has been very good at the point of attack, and uh, he's been physical. He's done what we've asked him to do in the in the run game, and, and been very good at that. So um, I, I like where he's gone. And, um, you know, the next guy's got to step up. If, in fact, if we do have the injury. That's not the case. Much of talk around surrounding your defense is about its aggressive nature from camp all the way through the start of the season. A year ago, the Badgers had success, though, kind of containing uh, Miller mm -hmm. and, and not letting him lose. For you, what's key in finding that happy medium or where it is to be aggressive and when to, to contain? Well, you know, that's a that's definitely a big point. And if I sit back and I watch him a year ago and tell how I see him playing offense um, now to what they did a year ago, which I, I just watched the tape uh, you know, fairly quickly. And they were in a lot of games last year that were highly contested and tight ball games that were low scoring, lots of them. And, you know, the, the Badger game a year ago was really one of them. Um, this year has not been that way. Uh, the quarterbacks uh, are, are doing a good job of running when they see the crease and they have a really given opportunity to go get it. Uh, but they're also doing a good job of buying time and they're keeping their eyes down the field better, I think especially Braxton than he did a year ago as far as trying to make some things happen for him. So you got to contain him. You can't let him have free reign. The quarterback run game is going to be there. Uh, how much they run him now with uh, the injury that they've had, who knows, but it is still part of the offense. So you got to contain the run game. Uh, you got to contain the quarterback run game. And you got to also understand that they're going to get theirs. You know, they're going to get some plays. The key is, is how do you react to the next play? John, not that you pay attention to what media says, but I've already seen people... <laughs> I listen to everything you guys say. Well, Trust me. I've already seen people tapping this as a so-called championship game for the leaders' division. Is it possible to look at this with that sort of importance in September? Nope. Not not with what I've seen from Northwestern and Minnesota and Indiana. I can go on and on and on. There's some good football teams out there that, you know, you, you we're going to go out and you're going to play and they're on our schedule. Um, you know, it's not... This is far from a championship game. and You know, uh, this game probably will not, uh, it'll, be, it'll just be one game in, uh, in the conference race at the end. You know, our, our goal is real simple, to, to play well in conference and compete every single week. And we know at the end of the day, if we want to obtain our goals, we've, you know, again, I go back to these kids all the time, and they tell me all the time, as coach, we, we got to, you know, we know we got to do better than we did last year in conference if we want to have any opportunity to do the things we did at the end of the year last year. And they know that, you know, uh, they had some games last year whatever it was, 500 or whatever it was in the conference, that uh, they can't look at one game of conference and say this is the championship when um, they're all going to be contested. And th they know that better than I because I haven't been on those fields yet. Gary, the uh, wide receiver position, the depth chart got a workout on Saturday. How did you like the work of the guys besides Jared and, and what you saw out of some of the, the kids that had to step in? Uh, you know. Erickson caught a nice ball. He's going to be more involved as we, as we move forward and have an opportunity. You know, his challenge is to consistently be a blocker with his size. He has to be very crafty at what he does. 
Frederick's been a great blocker. Um, he's caught some balls, had an opportunity, and it really hurts him that he missed it. He dropped that one. You know, Robert got some reps, uh, made a nice play on one ball and, and caught it. Um, the play didn't work out exactly how we draw it up, but he, he made the play and he did his job the correct way. And you know, then he drops one. So uh, I think it's uh, it's still definitely a work in progress. And just to, as we talked at the beginning, we got to have somebody to take the pressure off of Jared. Couple guys in tandem working together, or trying to take the pressure off of Jared, but uh, you know that hasn't really happened yet. Aaron, what you watched from last year and early this year, do you think Ohio State's the best team in the conference? Best team in the conference? That'd be impossible for me to say. I haven't watched enough tape. I haven't seen all the other guys play. I um, haven't evaluated them from top to bottom. But you know, if you just look at it, same thing I said in the summertime. Ohio State has every opportunity to be number one. Just as good an opportunity as anybody does. Um, from what they did last year, the way they carried themselves, the way they won games, and the way they continue to do that. Now, they, uh, in my opinion, they're uh, a lot better team than they were a year ago because they're much more skilled and they're much faster than uh, a year ago. Uh, it's a dramatic difference, in my opinion, the speed on the field uh, for them this year than they had a year ago. Uh, Gary, uh, Isaac gets to have all of its offensive personnel on the field together. Braxton was in and out, and Carlos Hyde just came back. Is it, is it hard to? Fully prepared for what you're going to see because they haven't all been uh, together as one on offense. No, I, I don't think so because I really don't expect to see drastic changes. You know, they're going to they're going to do what they do. They want to run the ball first. They want to be very effective in the play action run game. Uh, they want to have a run game that forces you to run sideways. They're very strategic in how they teach it and how they coach it. Um, you'll see some balls go out sideways to get you to run, get the defense tired, then they'll come back at you and they'll start running the ball and and uh, trying to be physical with you. So. Again, that's that's coaching. It's good coaching. It's, it's the way it should be done. Uh, it should be planned out and giving your kids the best opportunity to be successful. I don't see that changing with a couple guys coming back because the guys that uh, have been doing the job have done it very, very effectively.